everyone. I'm Lauren Fox, the Executive Director of Aubrey Rescue and Training, and July is National Hot Dog Month. So we are bringing you the hot dog edition of Rescue My Taste Buds. So if you missed our hamburger version, um, what we do is we have uh, multiple hot dogs, uh, four different hot dogs, different styles, flavors. We're going to we have one that's kind of a traditional bun, mustard, ketchup, and relish. We have a hot dog that has a honey mustard sauce with some sauerkraut. Uh, we have a hot dog that is the kids' favorite, no bun, uh, and lots of mustard and ketchup. And then we have our barbecue version, which is just a regular old grocery store hot dog slathered in some barbecue sauce. And what we want to see is how do the dogs like the different styles of hot dog? Okay, maybe some like condiments, maybe some prefer relish, maybe they also like sauerkraut, or maybe they don't like any of them. So, um, what you're gonna see today is multiple dogs that are, are available for adoption. So any of the dogs that you watch in the video today, um, you can make your new best friend by going to our website at haveanicedog.org, haveanicedog.org slash adopt. You can look at their profile, see their pictures, see what it's like to live with them. And then if you're interested, fill out our dog interest form and uh, we will schedule you a private meeting with or without hot dogs, up to you, uh, to get to know your potential new best friend and hopefully uh, you will be their forever home. So uh, please take a look at our dogs available for adoption, including the ones that are featured today on Rescue My Taste Buds Hot Dog Edition. Hi everybody, our first dog we have up is Oreo, and Oreo is a staff favorite. He is available for adoption, and he is going to, look Oreo, he's got this great, oh, what do I have here? So he's going to sample the hot dog with relish. Oreo, come here buddy. He is going to sample the hot dog with relish, ketchup, and mustard. So that was a win. He very much liked, he ate all of the condiments, the relish, the bun, the hot dog, the mustard. Super good job for you. All right, so next we have our barbecue version of the hot dog. I'm fighting Oreo off, he knows it's in there. All right, Oreo, are you ready for your barbecue hot dog? This is a hot dog with barbecue sauce. If you are interested in Oreo, you can find out, he's gonna link up all the barbecue sauce. You can find out more about adopting Oreo on our website, haveanicedog.org slash adopt. So that barbecue sauce and all, Oreo, very, very hungry for hot dogs. Hungry, hungry hot dogs. Next up, we have a hot dog. Come here, buddy. We have a hot dog. This one has a honey mustard sauce and a sauerkraut topping. Let's see what you think about that, Oreo. Honey mustard, sauerkraut. Oh, and it's gone in one bite. But you know what? He really liked the sauerkraut. He went back to lick the sauerkraut off the plate. He might be part German. All right, so the last one we have for Oreo. This is a kid's favorite. It's just a plain hot dog, no bun, smothered in ketchup and mustard. All right, let's see what he thinks of this one. It's fully smothered. Ketchup, mustard, and boy, he loves the condiments as much as I did as a child. So again, if you're interested in adopting Oreo, please go to our website, haveanicedog.org slash adopt. And this guy can be your summer buddy. He can go to your barbecues and eat all the hot dogs. We're all done, buddy. with Tangle. Oh gosh, Tangle's really excited about the hot dog challenge. Let's see if we can have some manners. Tangle, can we have some manners? Can we, hi, 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 oh, oh God. not manners, Tangle. Okay, we have some manners. Okay, we have a little bit of manners. Oh, okay, he's gonna sit on my lap. 
that's cool. So if he thinks he's a lap dog, he's not wrong. So our first hot dog is going to be uh, the relish hot dog. Okay, Tango, are you? I'm like, ask if you're ready. Oh gosh, all right, let's put it down. Let's see what Tango, oh, he's so excited. He's really, oh, it's gone. So he didn't, he didn't even notice that there was relish on it. All right, Tango, look. We got another hot dog. It's gonna be, oh, good point. It's gonna be right under here. Okay, oh, we're gonna lay, we're gonna roll over. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> okay, Tangle. We'll throw Ready? Ready? Where's the hot dog? Oh, barbecue, barbecue hot dog. Barbecue hot dog. Give him a extra barbecue hot dog. Alright, Tangle is available for adoption. So, what I have to say is, Tangle would make a fantastic companion A, if you like to eat, and B, if you like to do stuff. Tangle definitely likes to do stuff, he wants to work. Really likes food. This is the sauerkraut, honey mustard. He's anticipating. Here we go. Here it goes. Oh yeah. He's like he's a little slower on the sauerkraut, honey mustard. But he's yep. He's going back for more for condiments. There you go, bud. Good job. Last one is our right. kids' hot dog. Come here, bud. Right here. Mm -hmm. We have our kids' version. Ready, here we go. And let's see what Tangle thinks of our kids' hot dog. Uh, condiments are slowing him down a little bit. But he's back for more. Mm, he likes the kids' hot dog. So if you're interested in adopting Tangle, you can go to our website, haveanicedog.org, and uh, slash adopt. Put in an application and Tangle is looking for a new best friend and he really likes hot dogs. So if you like hot dogs, he's the dog for you. He also is super active and would love to be a hiking buddy or a running buddy. So check out Tangle on our website. All right, so next up we have Scarlet. Scarlet's pre-sampling. Uh, just a little pre-sample going on here. Uh, so next we have Scarlet. Uh, Scarlett is a long time resident. She's a very special girl. She has her own fan club. She has her own t-shirts. Um, but what she doesn't have her own of is a home. So although Scarlett is a special girl um, who needs a very specific home, we know that somewhere out there, somebody, maybe who's watching right now, maybe who got this video shared with them, sees Scarlett and wants to make her their new best friend. So, um, Scarlett is going to start off with our, this is our relish and condiment hot dogs. Are you ready, Scarlett? Scarlett seems ready. Here we go. Hold on, she's gonna go underneath. Ready? Ready, ta-da! All right, she's gonna take, she's gonna leave. It's a big bite. She took it all, she, she's checking me. She, Layer out. She's a little bit of a connoisseur here. Yeah, that was good. All right, that was relish, ketchup, uh, uh, mustard with a bun. All right, we have our sauerkraut and honey mustard. Scarlet. Scarlet. Scarlet's gonna steal things. Come on. Come on. Good girl, right here. Scar. Good. So we have our sauerkraut and honey mustard. Are you ready? Any? Go. Oh, she's a little bit. She's not sure of the sauerkraut. She's not sure of the sauerkraut. She ate the bun and actually left the hot dog. I think she's a little. She's not a super fan. She's maybe not German. She's not a super fan of sauerkraut. She's eating it though. Let's see. Do you want it without the hot dog? Yes. She actually was like, now that I've got a taste for it, I'm enjoying the sauerkraut. Next up, we have our barbecue version. This is uh, hot dogs slathered in some yummy barbecue sauce. Are you ready, girl? I think she's ready. Oh, oh. Yes. Scarlett says she doesn't want to eat on the table. She needs to enjoy her hot dog on the ground. Kind of like the rest of the barbecue sauce. She's a fan of confidence. If you're interested in adopting Scarlett, you can go to our website, haveanicedog.org slash adopt. Look up Scarlett. She can be your best girl. 
Who shares? Oh, the last one is our kids' version, and it's going to be our our kids' version is going to be a plain good old grocery store hot dog, uh, slathered as well in some good regular old yellow mustard and ketchup. It's kind of like hell kids, no bun. Just like, just like you enjoyed, just like you enjoyed these hot dogs as a child. So let's see what she thinks about the classic kids hot dog. Here we go. She's licking the mustard. She's enjoying. She really, actually, I think, is enjoying the condiments quite a bit. Here goes the hot dog. This one she's going to eat off right away. No bun. Yeah, she's really just, just throwing condiments all over me. Scarlett, do you want to finish up the condiments? No, she's done. That was a lot of mustard, she says. <laughs> <laughs> all right, again, if you're interested in Scarlett, please visit our website, haveanicedog.org slash adopt. Look up Scarlett. She's waiting for you. All right, so we have a sweet baby. <laughs> this is Magnolia, uh, or Nola, and she is available for adoption, just like all of our dogs. Come here, baby. Come here. Look at your cute work. Oh, isn't she adorable? Uh, she wants to shake. She does. Um, she is available for adoption. You can find out more about her on our website, haveanicedog.org slash adopt. And she is going to start with, as uh, everybody has, our yummy relish hot dog. Come here, baby. She's currently smothering everybody. Come here. Come here, baby girl. Yeah, come here. Oh, it's over here. Okay, so let's see what she thinks of our relish dog. Ready? Here we go, relish dog. Oh, I'm all unsure about the relish. I like the dog part. All right, I'm gonna go for the bun, sure. No, no, I spit it out, I don't like that. Ew, you know, you don't want, no, is there nothing, you don't want that relish? Okay, well, if that's all that's left, I might as well eat it. All right, so not a super fan of the relish, not too fan of, with nothing else left, she'll eat the relish. All right, second hot dog that we have is going to be our barbecue sauce slather dog. Let's see what Nola thinks of barbecue dog. Yes, better than relish. Better than relish. You like the barbecue sauce? No, not a super fan of the barbecue sauce. She prefers her hot dogs. In my opinion, I would say less condiments. Oh gosh. I would say the less condiments, the better for this sweet girl. She just wants all of the meat. You can't blame a girl. You can't blame a girl, can you? No, you can't blame a girl. All right. So no. red brown and honey mustard. Oh, mustard bread. 
of the mustard. Sweetest girl, she's looking for you. If you would like this lovely baby to be your best friend, please go to our website, haveanicedog.org slash adopt and apply to adopt Magdalena today. Charlotte. We've seen dogs who want to eat hot dogs, and so we thought we'd show you what happens when a dog has like the best leave it ever. So what I'm feeding Charlotte right now is not hot dog, but I'm going to tempt her with all four hot dogs. And let's see. Remember, Charlotte is available for adoption. Let's see. Charlotte, come here. Ooh, ready? Let's see. Mm-hmm. This is this is what it looks like when a dog has the best leave it ever. Yeah, do you, you want these hot dogs, Charlotte? So if you were like, wow, I wish my dog could turn up a plate full of four scrumptious hot dogs, then uh, you should adopt Charlotte because she has such great impulse control. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. That she is not even interested in eating any of these hot dogs. <laughs> Look at that impulse control. She's so close. She could eat them if she wanted to. Not interested. So if you also do not like hot dogs, Charlotte's the girl for you. So if you're interested in adopting Charlotte, you can go to our website, have a nice dog dot org slash adopt and you can put in an application come here baby she's i'm over here now hanging out over here and uh, you can put in an application and charlotte will also not eat hot dogs with you yeah do you want what charlotte really likes hamburgers so if you have not seen our hamburger version of this you can go back uh to last month and watch Rescue my taste buds hamburger division or hamburger edition. All right, Charlotte, you want to show everybody your impulse control once again? Here we are, full plate of hot dogs. Charlotte, not, nope, not interested. Still not interested. 